Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jonah, your spiritual guide. Today I would love to talk about on, on ladies, single ladies who are not married. Some of the single ladies that are not married, some of them, your cases are not spiritual. Your problems are not spiritual. Your problems is you. It's your attitude, your behavior towards life, towards your parents. Yes. Some of the single ladies that are not married, some of the ladies that are not married, your problems are not spiritual. Some of you, your problems are not spiritual. Some of you, your problems is you, your attitude towards your parents. Let me give you a story of a young lady. There is this young lady in my country who always go out at night and come back late. Um, anytime her mother is talking to her, she will be yelling at her mother. Then to the point whereby her mother, you know, hit her and she hit her mother back. Guess what the mother said to her? She told her that as long as as long as you are alive, you will never see a suitable husband to marry. You will never enjoy life with any man. The only men that may come to you will only come to you to have sex with you and go. But you will never have a suitable man of your own that you can call your husband. And that was how it ended that day. At the end, the mother died. Now, as life goes on, any man that comes to her, he would like to sleep with her. And she was able to have three to four kids from different fathers, from different men. Now, she came to a prayer. Then, the man of God, the Lord opened the eyes of the man of God. And he saw her mother standing by her side. Though she is late, she is dead. But he saw her standing by her side. Chasing any man that is coming to marry her. Sending any man away. The man of God asked her, now, Who is this woman I'm seeing beside you? She said she doesn't understand. The man of God gave her the description of the woman he, he is seeing. And she said, it is her mother. And the mother told the man of God, she said, she can never get married because of what she did to me when I was alive. Until when the man of God pleaded, I intervened. And once some rituals were done, some prayers were done, the lady got married immediately. Now, what am I trying to say here is, we need our parents' blessings. If your mother is still alive, if your father is still alive, you are lucky. Take good care of your parents. Even though it's not enough, get good clothes for them. Once you buy something for them, like clothes, they will release blessing on your life our blessings our parents are the key to our blessings that is why we need the blessings from our parents because that is where you are coming from you cannot disrespect your parents and you expect yourself to excel in this life you cannot be talking back at your parents and you expect yourself to flourish in this world. It is impossible. Your parents are your parents. Take good care of them. Send them gifts. Buy clothes for them. Send them food. The more you send them food, the more they release more blessings to your life. That is the truth. But some of you don't, don't understand because of your arrogancy, because of pride. 
You cannot disrespect your parent and you expect yourself to prosper. That is not possible. That is a capital lie. You can't go anywhere. So you need the blessings of your parents. If your parents are still alive, go to them. Buy a gift. Buy something, something tangible. Give them money and go on your knees. Ask them to bless you. You cannot be wondering. It's one of the reasons why some ladies are not getting married. Because of your attitude towards your parents. And you want to settle down. And you want to have children of your own. How is that possible? When your attitude towards your parents is bad. Please. I'm bringing out this video because... I want us to have a happy ending. It's not all about doing this or doing that. No. There are some simple principles, some common principles we need to apply to open our doors. You are there enjoying life. You are there having the good taste of life, but your mother is over there in the village suffering. You don't take good care of your mother, your parents anymore. And these are your parents that give back to you. Please. And please. Some of the things that block our blessings are the way we treat our parents. Please. Hmm? So that we can have a sweet life. A happy ending. God will help us. If you are in need of prayer or consultation, you can contact me on this line. Plus 234-8062-408467. I also produce cost breakers so foundational cost breaker soap. I supply Abel, Abel, the anti witchcraft powder. I supply the Angela powder. I supply the thunderstone. I supply love and attraction oil. I supply, I produce uh, what I call business soap and business oil. I produce a lot of spiritual products, which time I permit me to list all of the products right now. If you are need of a product, you can contact me on plus 234-8062-408467. I remember less.